I think it's kind of funny the majorities were, were basically video game related, especially bending into nostalgia and stuff like that, because these two next ones are really hard hitters in my book. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Odir, aka The Overview, back again, and it's been years, and instead of wasting, I don't know, about 150 I don't even know how much it's going for right now, possibly $500 on the black market, Marvel vs. Capcom is finally coming back to consoles, and more specifically, more of the original Marvel Capcom games from early back in the day, because let's just say, I don't know, early 2006 to 2010 era, when you would go to the laundromat, mom would take you along with her just to help her along with the chores, You'd board at a whole laundromat just waiting for the clothes to dry off, and what do you see besides you? A Pac-Man machine with Galaga, but no, not only that, a Marvel vs. Capcom game machine. And what did you do? Play all day and waste quarters like it was nothing. Let me tell you, most of my childhood I've been playing Marvel vs. Capcom in the laundromat. Yes, it was, it was kind of hard at times, but even though I was still young enough to just press buttons and I'm like, Oh, Spider-Man, Hulk, Iron Man, X-Men! I'm just playing the games as is and enjoying it as I go. And also my introduction to Capcom because I've heard of Street Fighter, but I never knew the character. So every time I saw somebody like Ryu, Morgan, Mega Man, I always saw them as, oh, they're Capcom because it's Capcom. Not realizing that the proper name was Street Fighter. But with Marvel vs. Capcom coming into actual consoles, it's going to be cool to see how the graphics go nowadays since we're seeing remasters of stuff. I know that um, they recently did the Street Fighter... 30th anniversary edition that had almost every Street Fighter game from the arcades, including the Turbo. But with this, I wonder what exactly, because I know they're going to have to include the X Men versus Street Fighter, then the Marvel versus Capcom, to the actual Marvel versus Capcom 2, which I don't know if that's going to be in it remastered or is going to be like a huge reveal within the trailer itself. But uh, I'm kind of excited. All right, guys, let's take a look. Marvel Comics Capcom presents real ones know what that means Fighting collection, All right? Oh Wait So the original original it was just X-Men characters fighting each other, okay Marvel superheroes I guess this is where the first, first fight Marvel fighting game came from. Okay, this is where I'm actually getting into my era. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Okay. Now this is the one I grew up with. Yep. Arcade machines back in the day really had this on deck. Yep. Let me take you for a real ride. Oh, they didn't play that? Damn. That first introduced the three fighter system. Oh. They're actually putting an arcade machine game. Like a free fighter. Okay. Never heard of it, but it's gonna be cool to play. Oh, okay, so they're gonna put them like this. Oh, even with the soundtracks. Nice. Okay. Custom setting moves, per usual. Hmm. Save data. You know, I never understood what those buttons meant. I just always did them like combos. This online is gonna be a problem once that starts, cause. There's going to be those people who have played the game back in the day who's going to actually be knowing all the combos on PS. 
and people who've been playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Infinite. I never played Infinite because I know that game sucked. But Marvel vs. Capcom 3, that was a good ass game. Wait, PS4? What the fuck? Yeah, jokes aside, um, that little PS4 thing on the side was kind of weird. Since that console is dead and we're a couple years into the 5. And Nintendo Switch, but not gonna lie. Nintendo Switch, it, it, it belongs there. Not gonna lie. It fits. All I can say is, yep, it's gonna be cool to see an old classic arcader back on the games again. But not only that, I wonder if this is gonna be the new testing ground. Since I know Marvel vs. Capcom is on the PS5, and I did kind of buy it. And Infinite died as soon as it released but i feel like the resurgence of marvel versus capcom finally coming into the, the original versions um x-men and one and two coming on the consoles hopefully that brings a chance for them to bring marvel versus capcom back to the fold because yeah i know infinite was like their new shot into doing it again but if they were to actually bring in a marvel versus capcom 4 and actually put the 4 on it so not only you bring the original comic inspired art style back but also bring in the X-Men because that was missing from Infinite since I felt like the video game rights at the time because we're, I think it was like this, where Fox owned the X-Men, Disney was only able to use their specific characters, and we were we were on a roster of Avengers and some newbies, like we already had Ghost Rider, we already had, um, who else was in that arsenal? Because I think there was a couple of them from the MCU, but there were some other ones like, uh, Go, we had Ghost Rider, we had Thanos, and I feel like there's some um, Black Panther, Venom. Yeah, we had those classic characters, but I feel like the whole Marvel Universe is not complete unless you include the X-Men. Because, technically speaking, they're the ones that started this whole renaissance with the Marvel vs. Capcom games. But I feel like once they bring in the X-Men again, and I feel like now they can use them since they're all under Disney's fold, and they can actually use the characters again, including the Fantastic Four... Hopefully, they can try to bring those characters back onto the video game side of things. And with Marvel vs. Capcom, I can't wait for the game to come out. And there has to be a PS5 title. There has to be. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.